FPS shotguns are close-range powerhouses designed to make the players feel like a god within 5 feet. But occasionally shotguns break out of this mold to become one of the most satisfying utility weapons you can ever have. A few days ago I deliberated with my chat over on Twitch about what we thought the best FPS shotguns of all time were. This is that list. Yes, that's my actual shotgun. No, I won't show it, I don't like getting demonetized. Let's talk about the criteria for what shotguns will be on this list. Four rules. The first one is that I have to have played the game. If I haven't played the game, I can't speak on the shotgun. The second rule is there's only one slot per franchise. Without this rule, then I would have like five Doom shotguns and that would just be boring. The third rule is no specialized rules. What do I mean by that? Well, a shotgun that becomes overpowered becomes a utility weapon rather than just a shotgun. Let's make an example of a weapon that is not a utility weapon, but is just a good shotgun. Pretty much any Halo shotgun. You won't see the Halo shotgun on this list, because its sole purpose in the entire franchise is just to check the sword. Its range is perfect enough to where it can shoot someone that's lunging at you with a sword and kill them just before they can kill you. Does that mean the Halo 2 shotgun is bad? No, that means it has a very specific specialized role. The only exception in the Halo franchise is the Halo Combat Evolved shotgun, which I would put on this list if it wasn't so inconsistent. Sometimes it instantly kills people, other times it just pings their shield, other times you get a bloodshot. And the last rule is the fun factor. How fun is the shotgun to use? What's the sound effect? What's the animation? How good is the engine for using this shotgun? This is the hammer in the fact that this list is kind of a subjective list, so if you disagree with it, that's completely okay. Tell me in the comments what you actually think is the best, just refrain from leaving insults. I also ran a poll to make a totally separate list of what my viewers think are the best shotguns in FPS history. My list is probably going to be different from what my viewers think, so stick to the end to see what you guys really think, or what people on my Discord voted for think. Number 10, this is a more recent shotgun, the Maximum Action AA-12. The Maximum Action AA-12 is a perfect example of what I mean when I say the shotgun becomes more than just a shotgun. It almost doesn't matter what range they're at, you have a ton of lead going down range and you can still mutilate people. There's virtually no scenario where the shotgun isn't effective. I thought it was a little strange putting it this low on this list, but then I realized its utility is pretty limited to what the game allows you to do, and you're almost always just fighting grunts. That said, I would probably prefer to have this shotgun over any other gun in the game, so that says numbers. At number 9 we have the Rising Storm Trench Gun. This trench gun will make you question the entire role of a shotgun. Tripwire has always taken great pride in their realistic firearms, depicting them in ways that other video games don't want to depict them. AKA shotguns have more range than 10 feet. You will be getting kills up to 60-70 meters out with this shotgun. It has a lot of range, and since you die in only 1-2 to two shots in Rising Storm, you only need a few of those pellets to connect. In fact, the only thing in this game that could check a shotgun up close is a flamethrower, and considering the flamethrower is on the same side that has the shotgun available to them, yeah, the balance is a little whack in this game. I'd still say an SMG has more versatility to it in this game, but make no mistake, the shotgun was ridiculously powerful in Rising Storm. It sounded like God slamming his car door. <laughs> the shotgun is awesome. If the Rising Storm trench gun sounded like God slamming his car door, then the Soldier of Fortune 1 shotgun sounds like an explosion every time you fire it and the results whenever it hits something is accurate to that of an explosion. Soldier of Fortune 1's gimmick was gore. Lots and lots of gore, and that got into a bit of a trouble on launch. Regardless as to that stupid controversy, the result is an incredibly powerful shotgun that could take off limbs, people's heads. This was your utility weapon in this game, and you're probably going to use it above everything else. At number 7 we have every broken shotgun we've ever seen in a Call of Duty game, and there's been quite a few. Typically when people talk about Call of Duty shotguns, they talk about how underpowered they are, these are not that. Let's list off a few of the shotguns that were incredibly broken on launch. Akimbo 1887 before it got nerfed, the new Modern Warfare 725 before it got nerfed, both of these had a ridiculous range that didn't fit a shotgun for a multiplayer game like Call of Duty. After that we have a few that are still arguably overpowered, the Modern Warfare 2 Spaz 12, the Modern Warfare 2 AA12, and the Black Ops 2 870. The 870 is borderline being too good and being just fine. Either way it's always going to feel frustrating to use an SMG, not miss a single shot, just to have them 180 and instantly shotgun you before you could even do anything better. I got the drop on you and didn't miss a shot, how did you still kill me? That's the problem with time to kill in Call of Duty being what it is, insta kills are always going to be a little bit jank. I'm looking at you you quickscoping fucks, no it shouldn't be possible, it's still an insta kill and it still fucks time to kill, quickscoping is stupid. At number 6 we have the Battlefield 3 USAS with frag rounds, for a week this thing terrorized multiplayer. This is hands down the most broken, 
overpowered thing Battlefield has ever seen. You have a fast firing shotgun that shoots what is effectively the Halo 1 grenades of people. You can shoot down helicopters with this thing with ease. Not much more really can be said, this thing got nerfed pretty quickly and really deserved it, but it got nerfed to the point of it being almost not usable, such as the dice way. At number 5 we have the Gears of War Nasher. Okay, I know this is an FPS list, but I have to put this in here. To put it bluntly, if you don't know how to wall bounce and use the Nasher properly, you're going to have a very, very bad time in Gears of War multiplayer. This shotgun isn't just your utility weapon, this shotgun is the meta for this game. It helps that it's also just a very good weapon in the campaign as well. At number 4 we have the Halo 4 Bolt Shot. You could argue it's not a shotgun, but I mean... Come on, that's a shotgun. Also, fuck this thing. This thing broke the entire core combat loop of Halo. This is a power weapon shotgun secondary you can spawn with. It also can headshot people if you don't charge it for the shotgun effect. In a game that's supposed to be a mix between melee, grenades, and guns, this gun single-handedly takes away your melee ability. You might be asking, well don't shotguns always do that in Halo? To an extent. The thing is, one shotgun only spawns on one map at any given moment in any other Halo game. So you know who and where that shotgun is. You don't know who spawned the bolt shot. So any corner could just have a shotgun there. A gun like this is even more problematic in a game like Halo that is a long time to kill. Fuck this gun and while we're at it, fuck Halo 4. Now we're getting into the top three and at number three I have the Killing 4 AA-12. This was actually kind of a difficult choice as honestly you could put just Killing 4 shotguns in general on this list. Again, another game made by Tripwire. Tripwire really likes their more realistic guns and powerful shotguns. These shotguns can headshot, have a good amount of range, and in a game with a bunch of Zeds running at you that are pretty much just zombies but different, this is going to be very helpful. Now the reason it was difficult is because as a lot of people pointed out in chat, what about the Doomstick? The Doomstick is a quad barrel shotgun where you can fire all four barrels at once and when someone does this, you hear this on the other side of the map. Yes. Yeah, that wasn't an exaggeration. I love this thing. But the reason I'm putting the AA-12 over it on this list is because it has more utility to it. The Doomstick for the most part is going to be a specialized heavy killer. You're going to be using it against Scrakes, Fleshbounds, and the Patriarch. You can use it against Trash Zeds, but in general the AA-12 is going to be better for that. It doesn't matter what you're shooting at with the AA-12, it's going to do a good job. It doesn't matter if you're taking a single shot to get rid of a Trash Zed, it doesn't matter if you're doing crowd control, it doesn't matter if you're dealing with the Heavy, it doesn't matter if you're dealing with the Patriarch, the AA-12 is the top tier shotgun. But again, I could have put any of the shotguns in here from Killing 4 because you're very rarely going to be carrying just one shotgun if you're playing support. If you have an AA-12, you probably also have a Doomstick on you. If you have a double barrel, you're probably also carrying a DP-12. Long story short, Killing 4 shotguns are damn amazing, regardless as to whether you're talking about Killing 4 1 or Killing 4 2. At number 2, please don't kill me that this isn't number 1, the Doom Super Shotgun. Note that I said Doom Super Shotgun because I'm talking about the Super Shotgun across the entire franchise. Doom 2 started the trend of having an absurdly powerful utility shotgun. It could be number 1 just off Legacy alone, but I don't really want to take that route. Instead I want to talk about another Doom Super Shotgun, the Doom Eternal Super Shotgun. In my mind this thing is way more fun to use. It has a meat hook that can pull you closer to enemies that can also light them on fire and is absurdly powerful. Not only is this a good utility shotgun and the fact that it has more range and in general is just better than most shotguns in other games, but it adds to your movement which makes it all new levels of useful. I could talk about this gun forever, I'm gonna stop here. Doom Super Shotgun is amazing and there's almost nothing I could tell you that you don't already know. Before we get to number one, I want to mention that I am around 175k subscribers, I'm real close to 200k. If you want to help me out, consider subscribing and clicking that bell, it would mean a lot to me. Okay, a top 10 list is not enough, there's a lot of really good shotguns over the years, so I need to list some honorable mentions that my chat wanted me to say and that I just wanted to talk about. These aren't in any particular order, they're just honorable mentions. The first one is the Rainbow Six Vegas Spas 12. Not in your hands though, in your hands it's a regular shotgun, but in the hands of a terrorist they suddenly become a Spaz ninja that can snipe you across the map instantly killing you. Fuck! Next honorable mention is the Doom 3 shotgun. Yes, I'm putting this in here, just out of spite. I hear so many people talking about how this gun is complete garbage, but I want to know what they're on. If you think the Doom 3 shotgun sucks, you're playing the game wrong. You have near unlimited sprint, barrel stuff them, instantly murder them. This thing does a ridiculous amount of damage up close. It has a wide pellet spread, yes, but that's because the entire game is CQB, and if it didn't, it'd be incredibly overpowered. Again, I'm honestly only putting this in here out of spite because I hear so many people mention how bad this shotgun is, and it drives me crazy. It's not bad.
Next honorable mention is the Cursed Halo Blunderbuss, the only mod list in here. Bruh. Just, just look at this. Oh my god! Next is the Area 51 shotgun, mostly just because it's a really cool design. It's a double barrel Spaz 12, but you can also dual wield it and fire four barrels at once. That's awesome. Incredibly powerful, but I don't think it makes this list because you can only dual wield for so long. And other than that, it's just a double barrel shotgun. That's pretty cool. Next honorable mention is the Metro LMG shotgun. I've honestly forgotten the name of it, but you know what I'm talking about. The LMG shotgun with a big drum mag. Metro is another franchise where I could have put all of the shotguns on this list, but the main thing that's really keeping them in check is just that you don't get enough ammo to really use them in their overpowered state. But make no no mistake if you have that ammo this LMG shotgun is amazingly overpowered. Oh boy, okay, we move on to the next one that definitely had the most amount of people asking to put this in the list, the Wolfenstein Auto Shotgun. This shotgun in my mind barely misses this list. The reason I didn't put it in here is because, yes, it is incredibly powerful, yes, it is incredibly useful, but it doesn't ever break the mold of just being a powerful shotgun. Every gun in this game is going to murder Nazis. That's how the whole game was made. There's lots of gore, there's lots of blood, and yes, it's very fun to use, but outside of its effective range, it's not really a utility weapon. Very good for being a shotgun, but I wouldn't say it's overpowered like the rest of these shotguns are on the list. Next up is the Black Shotgun. This gun isn't actually that amazing, but it sounds amazing. It's real fun. I just wanted to mention it. It does the shotgun roll well, and that's about it. Both the Half-Life 1 and Half-Life 2 shotguns are shotguns that barely miss this list as well, although I would probably focus on the Half-Life 2 shotgun over the first one. Half-Life 2 shotgun is pretty much a utility weapon, especially in Ravenhold. You're going to use this throughout the entire game. It's incredibly powerful has decent range, it's just a good shotgun. I also have the same to say about Half-Life 1 shotgun. Occasionally I hear people saying that it sucks and what the fuck are you on? Half-Life 1 you move incredibly quickly, you can fire two shotgun shells at once somehow. It's easy to get into an enemy's face and instantly murder them with this shotgun. It is absolutely not bad. Next honorable mention is the Blood Shotgun. Honestly it's not on this list just because I haven't played Blood in a very long time so I don't remember much about it. I'm sorry, a lot of people wanted me to put it on here so it's in the honorable mentions list. And the same thing can be said for the Flat Cannon in Unreal Tournament. I just haven't played it in a very long time, but it definitely should be on this list. All right, we're finally here at number one, the best shotgun in FPS history. It's Aliens Colonial Marines Hicks Shotgun. Taken directly out of the Aliens movie when Hicks has his legendary line, carrying an Ithaca shotgun. Does it get more legendary than this? It's also useful. Okay, I can't keep doing this anymore. And number one, the best shotgun of all time is the Fear Shotgun. If you watch my channel, this really shouldn't be a surprise. I love Fear, but the Fear Shotgun ticks off every single rule. This shotgun is far more than just a utility shotgun. It has good range, and combine that with your slow motion, you can really get up close to people anyway. As for fun factor, this is by far, to me, the most fun shotgun to use. There is a ton of gore and fear. You're taking off arms, limbs, heads, cutting them in half, or even just turning into a misty pile of blood. Unrealistic? Sure, but who the hell cares? This is fun. You get this shotgun pretty early on in the game, and you will probably carry it to the very end. It doesn't matter what or who you're shooting at. Replica soldiers? Shotgun deals with them easily. ATC security? Same thing. Fighting robots? Doesn't matter, shotgun it. Fighting ninjas? Doesn't matter, shotgun it. Fighting ghosts? 12 gauge can deal with them. Admittingly, they overwhelm you, so that's not the optimal thing to do, but you can do it anyway. Point being, this shotgun deals with every enemy in the game and is never a bad option. It is far more than just a shotgun. It fits this utility role perfectly and is the most fun shotgun I've ever used. That sums up my personal top 10 best shotguns in FPS history, but what about you guys? What about that poll I mentioned earlier? Setting up a poll for a top 10 list is actually kind of difficult. I need a way for them to say that, hey, this is my favorite, but also this takes priority over number two, but they still need to vote for numerous things. I didn't really have a proper way to do this, so instead I took the easy way, made a straw poll, let people vote on however many they wanted, and then told them only vote for three. I put this announcement over in my Discord. If you want to join that, you can click the link down below in the video information. And I added everyone saying, hey, vote for three, check it out. In around an hour and a half, I got 164 votes. Halo 4 Bolt Shot being at the very bottom doesn't surprise me too much. It really only affects people with a very specific playstyle, and that playstyle is competitive Halo. If you don't play Halo more competitively, you probably didn't think a whole lot about the Bolt Shot, or maybe even liked it, god forbid. Soldier of Fortune 1 being at the bottom kind of surprised me, but not really. It's an older game that a lot of people probably didn't have too much experience with, so it's been forgotten over time, which is sad. The Rising Storm Trench Gun being the slow actually did surprise me, as that's the style of game that most of my viewers are going to enjoy, so it's a little odd. Maximum action 
Edition AA12. Maybe this is recency bias. I expected to see this at the bottom as it's not a very well-known game, but you know, whatever, we'll take it. Gears of War Nasher is also another one I expected to be at the bottom just because most of my viewers are into first-person shooters, not third-person shooters. Battlefield 3 USAS being in the middle is somewhat surprising. I thought maybe that week before it got nerfed would have gotten forgotten, but the few players that really stuck around in Battlefield 3 back in the day are going to remember this. It is going to be spoke of in legends. Call of Duty Broken Shotguns being the side doesn't surprise me at all. Call of Duty is an incredibly popular franchise, so more people have experience with it. Killing 4 AA12 not having more votes actually does surprise me because that is sort of one of the legendary shotguns you talk about in video games. But the most surprising thing to me, and it probably shouldn't be, is just how far ahead the Doom Super Shotgun and the Fear Shotgun are. I expected the Doom Shotgun to be number one, but I expected it to be number one by a large margin. Instead, Doom and Fear are ahead of everything else by a large margin. Hell, the Doom Super Shotgun at the time of saying this is only one vote ahead of the Fear Shotgun and I've been watching it, it's been going back and forth. Just to make things interesting, I'm going to put the straw poll down below in a pinned comment. Again, only vote for three, and let's see how this changes over the next few days. But hey, that sums up my top 10 best FPS shotguns of all times list. If you guys agree or disagree, tell me in the comments, I'd like to know what you think. Be sure to vote on that poll. And if you want to join me over on Twitch for future things like this, my Twitch is twitch.tv slash Jared for Gaming Dragon. If you subscribe, you get to see my videos ahead of time. Same thing for my patrons over on Patreon, you get to see videos ahead of time. And also you can just have me play games you want me to play if you want to do that. There's tears for everything. Thank all you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you next time.